I wanted to do a video for you just to show you about washing in a caravan. We've been full time for four years and I have never paid for washing. So we free camp 99% of the time, so unpowered. And we meet many travellers in our rest stops or free camps who are amazed that we don't pay for washing. Lots of people go to a caravan park or a laundromat just to do their washing. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you how we can do it. Let's start with water. Water's precious and you don't have to use your tank water. All of us who free camp know how hard it is to get water, potable water for your caravan. With the washing machine, you don't need potable water. So there's a few ways. You can um, simply save your shower water and reuse that in the washing machine. You can um, use from a creek or there's lots of ball water taps, taps around the place that say not potable water. So we can collect there. Um, we've actually done that here. We carry these two 10 litre tanks um, and we have filled those just for the washing machine. We're actually traveling the Nullarbor right now. So we've had almost a week free camping on the Nullarbor. So we do need to do washing, but it's also noisy. So we apologize if you hear trucks and traffic noise at the moment. Um, let's take you inside and show you how it's done. This is the little cupboard under the fridge that's useless really. So Glenn's installed an inverter under there. It doesn't have to be a big one. The washing machine doesn't use much power. So just find your power point where the washing machine plugs in. Ours is nice and easy. It's just over here. So unplug that from the plug that it's normally plugged into and plug into the lead that's connected to your inverter. So I've just flicked the inverter switch on. Now there's your panels at the bottom here. This is the 3.3 sphere, but all sphere size sphere washing machines have the same settings. So we just turn power on. It defaults to 38 minutes, which we don't want because that does a rinse and everything. So we change the process here and we just click through until we get to 14 minutes wash. So what that does is wash with no rinse. Then there's also your um, low, medium or high settings. It also defaults to medium. Um, I, even if I have a high load to save water, I generally use medium. Um, but if you're adding, if you've got enough water to add, you can do your load appropriately. So just change your water level here accordingly. We'll leave that on medium today. I'll just put some clothes in and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we just pour the water in. Add your laundry liquid. You can obviously only do this with a top loader washing machine. So if you're in the process of ordering a caravan and it's got a front loader, um, you definitely can't do this. All right, laundry liquid's in. I'll just push start now. You'll see that the pump does kick in and it thinks that um, it needs to add water. It'll only put a little bit in until it cuts off when it realises that there's already water in there. And the level settings that you've chosen determine how much water goes in until that brain kicks in. So generally it only lasts about 30 seconds, the fill after, but if I'd have put a little bit more water in or used a low setting, the brain kicks in faster. So you can use low setting for everything and just put in enough water that you think, and then um, the, it uses minimal water through the pump. So that'll run now till 14 minutes and then I'll show you what we do after that. I find that two 10 litre containers is generally enough water to do a load. Whereas if you let the washing machine choose the water, I think they use about 35 litres. And of course it's tank water if you do it that way. So adding it is definitely the best option. We always use wool wash as well the earth power or earth choice wool wash and um, that doesn't suds as much so you don't need a rinse so this is just about finished now all right we're all finished but now we need to spin I did forget to mention that by adding water 
the 14 minute cycle automatically defaults to 12 because the first two minutes of that 14 minute cycle is meant to be for pumping water in because we've added our own in it changes it to 12 minutes all right so now what we do is we go to power power on again again defaulting to 38 minutes this time we want to go to the process and go through to seven minutes which is spin only you don't need to select a setting here for the spin it just spins but this one must have the lid shut so we'll get that happening start Alrighty, we're all finished so now we just yeah go out hang it on the line so I hope these simple tips help to enhance your free camping experience and keep your free camping for longer. Safe travels.